Hello, Tech Pros, episode 223. In these uh, times, we need to think about uh, how we spend our time and if, uh, and also as an entrepreneur, uh, think about when are you entertaining yourself and when are you educating yourself. Welcome to the podcast where I chat with professionals who are getting the job done using technology seven days a week. Each week, we start with Motivation Monday. Tuesday is about productivity. Wednesday, leadership. Thursday, technology. Friday, people in communication. Saturday, entrepreneurship. And Sunday, being unplugged. All right, let's get started. Hello, Tech Pros. This is Chad Bostic, and I'm excited to introduce our featured guest today, Jacob Stracata. Happy Saturday, Hello. Jacob. Thank you. Thank you. Take a deep breath and relax. Ah, that's right. That's right. Take a deep <laughs> breath and relax. I actually have to literally tell myself that every single time I start one of these podcasts, Jacob, because um, this is not a natural thing for me to do. Uh, I don't know if you know my history or not, but I actually struggle with social anxiety. And I know um, that the story you're going to tell is helping people on a psychological level and the products that you guys um have developed to help there but yes absolutely take a deep breath and relax this is going to be good it's going to be awesome uh, i'm meeting a new friend here we're going to be talking about some awesome stuff that we're both passionate about and so it's going to be fantastic and so yes no matter where i am every time i start a new conversation i do have to tell myself that just dude just take a deep breath and relax awesome yeah so uh so what do you have for me today, Chad? Well, <laughs> what first, can I help you with? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me lay back on your couch and uh, you can smoke a pipe and uh, <laughs> we'll get into it. But first, let me introduce you to the audience. So Jacob Stracata has worked with hypnosis and hypnotherapy for more than 20 years. He originally trained as a captain in the Danish Air Force, where he worked with technical management, quality control, and organizational management. As part mm -hmm. of his training, he learned how to, how to help deployed personnel on a psychological level. Now, in 2000, Jacob founded the Institute for Advanced Hypnosis in Copenhagen, Denmark. Over the years, he's trained more than 550 hypnotists and hypnotherapists. Advanced hypnosis differs from traditional hypnosis in that it goes straight to the root of the problem, isolating it and then treating it. It is a version of this technique called RDH, which is Result Driven Hypnosis, that is featured in the Hello Mind app. And Jacob, you developed this app, which kind of... Well, I'll let you tell the story, but it basically helps people in this area, helps people in the area of results-driven hypnosis. Is that right? That's right. And um, we're actually quite um, quite uh, engaged in this app, and it's uh, not me only me that have uh, developed this. It's, uh, we are a team uh, that have worked on it, and it has actually been about uh, four years uh, on the way but now we have the, the final version. It has been out there for a while and have had uh, over two and a half million downloads. I know that may not be much in, in US terms, but uh, it have received really well uh, feedback. And uh, what it does, the app, is that it's actually a health service uh, for, for the mind, uh, the mental health. You, you see a lot of physical uh, health apps in the App Store and uh, on Google Play, of course. Um, mm -hmm. And this one aims to uh, sort of go and uh, emerge in your mind. And, and from the mind, if you change your mind, your way of thinking, not only thinking on a conscious level, but also on a subconscious level, because that's that's really the focus of this app it's it's all, all about the subconscious uh, subconscious processes that you have so we do a lot of stuff maybe 80 percent in our day is uh, governed by uh subconscious processes we do not think about what we are doing while we are doing it also a lot of um, things that we are react to are triggered by subconscious events and it could also be good or bad you know uh a, a person playing a lot at the casino and you say to him uh, it's not logical you're losing all your money or why do you do it yeah, it makes me feel good so that's why i'm doing it or mm. why are you drinking so much alcohol you know it's not bad for your body uh, you know it's, it, it's bad for your body I'm, I'm i don't know I, I just need to do it and maybe so they know it's wrong on a 
on a conscious level, uh, it could also be uh, some smaller things as uh, you're afraid to go to a job interview. Why are you afraid of that? Uh, but it, 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 it's a subconscious thing that hinders you from doing what you want to do. And we have, um, with RDH, you can go into a part of the brain that we call the limbic system and you can massage the area so to speak and in that way you can alleviate the problem and then your conscious mind will be free to do uh, whatever you want to do man that's so very interesting first of all just um to be quite honest when i've heard the words hypnosis in the past what i think of what I know just from experience is not the medical side, it's the mm -hmm. entertainment side, right? So you have right. the, the hypnotists that stand up on stage and, and you're like at a comedy event um, or at a school gathering or something and they get volunteers to come up on the stage. They get 10 different people and they say, okay, when you hear the word, uh, George, you're going to quack like a chicken. When you hear the word entrepreneurship, you're right. going to uh, jump you're, up and down. You right? will and, be really motivated. <laughs> yeah, you will be really motivated. And, and so it, it's just... It, the practice that I've seen, it looks, it looks kind of like a, a, a magician's trick, right? Where it's just right. um, an illusion, but they're not yeah. really forcing people to do stuff. They're just kind of like, I always figured that the people were just playing along with it and being a good sport and quacking like a mm. duck just so that they right. could get the attention. But this is not what we're talking about here, right? We're talking about right. really helping people in the subconscious level to overcome mm. some of the, the mental barriers that they have in their own life that's really preventing them from leading a more fulfilling lifestyle. Yeah, right. Because uh, people really can easily think that think about what they want to do, but sometimes they have something that hinders them in doing so, uh, even though they have the knowledge. You know, if a person is going to an exam and they have studied and they know what, what they are going to, to, the exam is going to be about, but they cannot they're really nervous at the exam and, and they don't need to be like that. Uh, it, it, it does not need to be like that. It's because that the subconscious mind thinks that there's something uh, that will happen, a danger of some kind. And often it stems back from an earlier memory in their life. Maybe they were, uh, um, the person was seven years old and uh, going to school and some teacher said, all right, now, Jack, do you know, please come up to the board now, and I would like you to show uh, how to approximate this uh, equation. And maybe he did not know or had studied at that time, and that experience, the subconscious mind will, so to speak, open up, and it will suck all the information. The scary uh, situation will be uh, learned very quickly, and then it will be a part of that person throughout life. So even though he is 24 now and studying to be a lawyer, he will still be afraid to go to the exam because the brain cannot differ between what happened back then and what is happening right now because mm. the situation is exactly the same. So what he needs to 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 have done is to be uh, dehypnotized and that is what actually this app is not hypnotizing people to do something uh well we 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 have some tracks that are we have treatments and boosters and boosters are uh like uh, hypnotizing people in a in a, a specific direction to be mm -hmm. more motiv motivated or to cope uh, on in some area and the treatments are dehypnotizing people to get rid of uh for example, anxiety in exam situations or other situations or and in love. We have like some main areas we work on. But so, uh, so hypnosis is an extremely powerful tool and it's actually the oldest Western form of uh, psychotherapy or, the, or therapy, although it was not, you know, it's not the usual, you can, you know, you can talk a problem uh, and talk about the problem and talk and then talk again, you know, instead of just uh, working on the subconscious level where you can alleviate the problem and then you don't need to talk about it. Right. So, Jacob, this is so interesting because um, because I have struggled in areas around social anxiety and um, I, 
it's only been recently when I started looking back on my past, looking back at some mm-hmm. of those um, those formative moments in my early childhood, right? And trying to figure out where's this stuff coming from? Like, where's this fear coming from? Where's the fear yeah. of talking to people and meeting new people and introducing myself and having conversations and building relationships? Like, where does that come from? And it's, mm-hmm. you know, honestly, it's hard to pinpoint the actual moment, but it's like, okay, that whatever happened back then, I'm not sure exactly what happened that caused me to be so fearful of meeting new people and having discussions with new people. But I know that, like consciously, I know that meeting new people is an awesome thing. And having conversations Mm -hmm. outside of work and inside work is very fulfilling and it makes me feel good. But still, Mm -hmm. every time, let's just say I'm at a grocery store and um, the, the cashier the teller who is checking uh checking out my groceries says hello how are you today you know there's still that fear that i'll just say fine and mm-hmm. i don't say anything as opposed to you know what I'm, I'm doing really good this is a great day i found everything that i was looking for in groceries i think i'm gonna make hamburgers tonight on the grill and just to make chit chat you know yeah that right. that has always been extremely difficult for whatever reason i don't know why but mm-hmm. I know that once I do open up and once I do start having conversations, and this is just, I mean, I know all the listeners, they have their own quirks, they have their own things that they're struggling mm-hmm. with. But mine mm-hmm. personally is that not wanting to open up, not wanting to share any personal details, and it just felt very, very scary. So in this area of this hypnotism or this reverse hypnotism, mm-hmm. what is the app doing? So if we open up Hello Mind, like what, how is it going to guide us through this process of like overcoming some of these obstacles that we see? Yeah. Uh, of course, we try to make the user interface as uh, easy as possible um, and also uh, as simple as possible. Simple is really uh, key here. Uh, so you we don't want people to read a lot, you know, and, 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 and trying to understand with their cognitive, logical uh, part, but more to engage in a uh, subconscious emotional uh, learning experience. So what we have done is that we made, you, you, you sort of, you choose a main category like love, habits, weight, sleep, uh, self-confidence, motivation or stress, anxiety. We have, that is the categories we have. And then you know, if I choose maybe stress, then you will get uh, two questions. You will get first one que- question that leads to another question. So we will only ask, it's a kind of a self-analysis we're doing here. Um, so the person can narrow in what the arrow, area of uh, work uh, need to be. So the person is self-evaluating what could the problem be. And we have uh, way over 250 sessions here. Uh, so, so we and and what we don't have, we will create for the person within three days. Wow! So we will we are creating rapid uh, content, and um, Google said content is king, right? <laughs> That's what they said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. I guess that still applies. So, <laughs> so if we if we choose one uh, category here, uh, for example, I can choose anxiety. Let's uh, choose that one. Then, what are you afraid of? It, it will ask, what are you afraid of? A situation, a person, an animal, a thing, a place, or I have anxiety. So, you could maybe choose. A, I'm afraid of a situation. Is it serious sickness, work? unemployment, to be sedated, to be forgotten, to be controlled, to die, to fail in life, to do something wrong. That is a biggie. This one, to do something wrong, a lot of people are afraid of that. So then you will get the product after you have done this little analysis. And you can actually use, uh, you know, you can listen to two or three products at a time as long as they support each other. So maybe one will boost their Confidence that has been found if you boost your self-confidence while you're treating yourself for something, uh, then you will you will you will uh, have a higher success rate because you are also feeling confident in the treatment that you are doing. So and 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 this is really cheap, you know, as uh, the the price to work with yourself at your own time. 
Uh, you don't need to book an appointment. You can go right, dive right into the, the treatments and you will work from, it's like an onion, you will work from the, the core of the onion and when you kind of uh, uh, change the, 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 the uh, sheer foundation of the problem, then all that has been built on that problem will dissolve itself. Uh, so. So actually what this uh, health service uh, for the mind does, uh, as Hello Mind is, it will, it will fix uh, the problem from the core and then the rest of the problem that has been built upon that, by, you know, if you have had the problem from you were 12 and to, you, uh, to your 30, 50 years uh, or 30, to, till you are 35 years old, then the rest of uh, all those years, all those other situations where you felt nervous, they will cleanse themselves just by daily living. And you don't even need to use the app. The app is just to like jumpstart the transformation from the inside. Hmm. Man, it's such an interesting concept of, of how you're really identifying some of the, uh, some of the past things um, that, that trigger or, or get embedded into our subconscious, right? And then when we experience these triggers in our, in our current life, then they mm. can really hold us back. But there are certain therapies that we can do to get over that and kind of remove those barriers. So, you know, Jacob, today is Entrepreneurship Saturday on Hello Tech Pros. And I have a lot of entrepreneurs that, that I talk to all the time. And, you know, some of them are extremely highly successful because they've already overcome a lot of their mental barriers. Their whatever barriers are, are keeping them from being successful. And I've heard other people say, you know what, my business was stuck until I let go of some problem or let go of some mindset or change my mindset into a certain area or started believing myself or started having motivation or was able right. to push myself past certain barriers. Um, so do you, do you have any uh, statistics or stories about entrepreneurs and how these, uh, these mindsets or these subconscious issues or blockers can stop entre entrepreneurs from being successful? Yes. Uh, often when you are an entrepreneur, you don't, you don't only have, you know, it's, it's not often it's your first business that goes uh, to high levels of success. You have maybe more tries and you, you learn on the way. And uh, I have uh, I have helped a lot of uh, people. I also do some one-to-one uh, -one sessions occasionally. And uh, some entrepreneurs, they have uh, maybe been um, failing big with a business and uh, they have maybe taken uh, on the guilt of that it did not go as expected and that can actually hinder an entrepreneur to to start up something new because they are subconsciously uh ha have wired themselves uh for this they, they don't want to uh, fail and of course uh, because of that they will be not as bold as they could be they will not mm dare to take risks and you know and you need to do that you need to to hustle a bit and you need to be quick and uh, uh, take the right decision decisions in the right moment you cannot overthink stuff so uh, you can really help people and also people uh, in, in, in entrepreneurs and um, people that have uh, some people has been uh, cheated also <laughs> hostile takeovers mm -hmm. or something like that that uh, that that shattered them or you know um that something happened uh, that that changed the way the product works or something like that. So, also family problems. You know, uh, we we once had a bicycle bicycle team here in Denmark that went to Tour de France here in Europe. Uh, that is uh, it's a big thing, and uh, the 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 guys that are bicycling they are away from their wives and maybe they are you know angry at them because uh, you're never at home and I need to take care of the kids and stuff mm -hmm. like that and and all those emotions they kind of uh, nag them and when they have to perform and uh, then maybe they're feeling uh, you know that they are rejecting their family or something like that and it could be also something from way back that need to be changed. It, it, it may not have nothing it may not have uh, to do with the current family situation but it could be that they maybe have been in a, a divorce uh, previously and then 
we can work with, uh, with, with that and alleviate the, the previous problem from the past. There's a lot of problems that hinder us in the future or in the now uh, stems from the past. As I say, nothing comes out of blue air except blue air. <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's like all these things that happened to us in the past, um, they kind of get embedded into our current DNA, right? Where um, for good or for bad, it's right. just an impression that happens and our body, our mind says, okay, we can never experience that pain again. We should never right. want to do that thing again. Or right. we should. this is a safe zone. If we do this, we'll yeah. always be safe or we'll always be right. happy. And then we kind of get stuck in mm. that mindset of I know that everybody else is telling me that I I should not be afraid to fail. Like I need to yeah. fail faster and I need to be more bold or mm. I I need to not worry about being cheated. I need to put my ideas out there and really gain uh, and build an audience who's who's really excited about it and not worry about somebody stealing my idea. But still mm. w if you have those <laughs> if you have those fears, man, it sucks. It really yeah. sucks to have those fears, and it's really, really difficult to get past. Uh, unless that you uh, uh, reach your subconscious mind. I mean, you don't have to meditate for hours and hours to 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 remove this. You can you can you can uh, identify it, and uh, but you need to go into the subconscious mind to remove it. And it's it's really easy um, for half of the time we are, we are already in the subconscious mind. When you look out out a window, maybe you discovered this as a kid also, um, you know, you look out at a window and it's like you're, you're gazing out the window and you're away mentally. You're not in the class. You're inside in your head thinking of something else and it's very vivid. It's very alive. Then you're actually in a passive hypnotic state. So it's something that we go in and out throughout the day. The, the difference with the, the Hello Mind app is that we will help you get into that state uh, by design and to elevate a specific problem that you have identified in the self analysis. So it's, uh, I think this, it, you know, it's something that. If you go to Pakistan, for example, they have the same problem. They also have uh, exam anxiety, uh, presentation anxiety. They have jealousy and, you know, uh, afraid of driving a car maybe or uh, phobias or weight problems. Uh, so diabetes is uh, also not, not that we're treating diabetes, but we're treating the, the to, to uh, do uh, eat differently and do mm -hmm. more exercise and stuff like that, that, that can help you, uh, uh, get better, uh, if you have diabetes. Yeah, man, th there's so many common problems, no matter where you are in the world, no matter, right. uh, what type of socioeconomic, um, situation that you've grown up with. I mean, exactly. we, we all have the same human mind and that same human mind is kind of hardwired and built for these response mechanisms. So right. going back to um, helping entrepreneurs, Jacob, mm -hmm. I, I've thought of three specific problems that I've talked to uh, w with people recently and some of these that I've struggled with. So I want to ask you about what we can do to overcome these three problems in just a moment. But first, I want mm -hmm. to take a quick break and thank our sponsors. This episode of Hello Tech Pros is sponsored by Minio Cloud Storage. Minio is a cloud object storage server for developers and DevOps written in Go. The Go programming language is the emerging language of choice for modern cloud infrastructure projects, and it allows Minio to be highly concurrent and lightweight. Minio is Amazon S3 compatible, built with microstorage architecture in mind, but at its heart, Minio is simple, scalable, and supported by a passionate developer and user community. In episode 89 of Hello Tech Pros, I talked with A.B. Periasami, one of the founders of Minio, about the importance of community support and recruiting software developers who are as passionate about their product's code as artists are of their art. Check out that episode at hellotechpros.com slash 89 and check out Minio Cloud Storage at Minio.io. That's M-I-N-I-O dot I-O. 
Are you new to podcasting? Are you looking for a fast, high-quality, yet budget-friendly podcast production team? Let Transource Media take care of you. With a team of professional audio and video editors, writers, and graphic artists, they can help you build your podcast from planning, post-production, and platform submission. Using only cutting-edge software and studio equipment, they're here to make each and every show sound at its best. To get a free quote, please visit www.transourcemedia.com or send them an email at marketing at transourcemedia.com or call them at 209 209- 505-5693. Transource Media, transforming businesses through the power of multimedia. Okay, we're back with Jacob Stracata. Jacob is a, uh, a, a hypnotist, hypnotherapist, um, who has founded the Institute for Advanced Hypnosis in Copenhagen, Denmark. And he's also the founder of the app Hello Mind, which helps people overcome some of these subconscious barriers that we get stuck on, right? And it's it's universal. It's, it transcends where you're from, right? It doesn't matter if you're American or you're Danish or you're uh, from uh, China or anywhere else in the world. We all get stuck on some of these mindset issues. So we've talked about some personal things that could uh, that could affect our personal life. But since today is um, Entrepreneurship Saturday, Jacob, I thought I'd ask you specifically about three problems that I've seen uh, friends and colleagues struggle with as well as myself. Um, so I'm just going to kind of give a, a highlight, one, two, three, all of them, and then maybe we could just start with uh, problem number one and then dive into that. So yeah. um, three problems. The first one is that the person can't decide on what problem or solution or niche that they want to get into, right? They either have so many ideas that they can't Mm -hmm. make a decision or they just really don't understand or don't believe what they can offer to the world and and what it is that would be successful, right? What could they, what is the product or service that they can market? That's problem number one. Problem number two is, okay, now that you have your product or service, but you're afraid to sell it, you're afraid to pitch it, you're afraid to call people, cold call, email, Mm -hmm. uh, reach out in social media, you know, social network, meet people in, uh, in, in social situations and really pitch the idea and sell it and then the third one is one that you brought up um earlier is that fear of failure or or not being as bold as you need to be not be willing to like go big or go home so uh let let's first of all is any one of those like um do they all come from the same source do they all come from the same problem or are these unique individual problems that can be addressed individually uh Partly, maybe, uh, you know, uh, confidence can uh, sure do a lot uh, in this area, uh, but we cannot blame uh, self-confidence uh, for everything. I think that when you choose what to work on as an entrepreneur, it's important that you have some kind of interest in the area. Mm-hmm. Uh, so no matter what, you, you need to be interested because when it becomes the darkest times when you work on it, when you have a lot of work and you have uh, maybe um, not uh, gone through the tunnel and uh, the light for, uh, at the end of the <laughs> tunnel, uh, you can say that that you you need to pursue it, pursue the the, pro- 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 the, the problem and solution uh, even in the darkest times. Uh, real success is not when you're doing good, but it's when you are good uh, although things are going bad mm. all right so okay. yeah so um, it's not it, it, it really the, the interest I once uh, thought that I should uh, excel in um, in music <laughs> I had this idea that uh, all right I will go to some uh, uh, piano uh, lessons uh, but I did not train that much, so mm-hmm. of course I was not very good at it. And I also tried the saxophone, did not train, the same thing. And uh, then I, I started to stop like having that kind of uh, hobbies and instead um, doing something that uh, that had my interest. It, it did not have. I was not interested in that, so I could not keep the motivation. Uh, when when I had to have uh, be motivated to to go through uh, the learning process, so everything is a learning process, and uh, 
uh, no matter what you're doing, you know, even failing and, and failing major and failing big, that will the the failures will probably learn the person more than the successes because we really can build. It's, everything is just learning, you know. We don't need to think about things as failing or as doing wrong or you know. It's just labels, uh, labeling uh, uh, in a box somewhere in the mind that something was not good, but who is to decide if it was good or not it could be very good to scrap a very bad idea hmm. for you to learn yeah for, for you to learn uh, what not to do you know and and then you can build on something else so we really don't the the, the box of failure or doing wrong or uh, not being good enough and stuff like that Make that as small as possible in your mind and don't visit that box uh, 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 that often. You know, think about everything you do if you, if you meet something that is, uh, that is uh, something that is not going as you expected it uh, to be. If you meet something like that or are in a situation that, that uh, is like that, then just think of it as a minor speed bump, you know, you were just slowed down a little bit and then you can go on. You're still on the road. You're still doing stuff. Uh, I really meet a lot of people that cannot decide. So they, they will not accept the situation and when will, they will not take action. And you have to do one of these things, either accept something or take an action. You have, that is the two possibilities you have when you're taking a decision or making a decision. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's, <laughs> that's such great stuff, Jacob, because I've seen that in my own personal life. I've seen that in my own startup here on Hello Tech Pros is, you know, I, I kind of worked on as a entrepreneur for 10 years or more this idea that I wanted to start a business and so I end up being a domain name collector where I would go out to GoDaddy and I would I would have a great idea of something that that interest me and something that I thought would be a good idea and something that I could market and I would buy it but then I was afraid of failure like what happens if I invest all my time in mm. this and it doesn't pan out what happens if I put a lot of work into it and I don't like it and so what would happen is nothing like literally I would mm, take no right. action or I would yeah. play around with it for a week or two uh, or for a short period of time and then I would talk myself out of it and I became this person who I believed over the course of a decade that I was not a completionist. I believe that the only way that yeah. I could excel in my, in my uh, like financially was through my career. And I had to focus on my career and I would never complete something, like complete a product or sell a product um, because I felt, again, because I would, I would give up on ideas, give up on ideas, give up on ideas because I was mm. afraid of really pushing through, um, pushing through to the end and just see what happens to it. And so I built, repetitively like a hundred times 200 times a series where i would start something and then give up on it and not finish it and then i became uh believing that i was a non-finisher and so when i started hello tech pros it was it was this action i i couldn't accept at that time actually in in march and mm. in april of this year i could not accept the fact that i was a completionist i said you know what i'm just gonna have to take action just mm. massive massive action and that's a big reason why i started the seven day a week podcast is because it pushes me every single day that i have to hustle i have to do more work right. to get more um do more interviews like this, right? And so yes. it becomes a daily habit where I am completing the work that I set out to do. And uh, it kind of is now slowly changing my mind about the things that I can do. Right. And um, it's, it's uh, life. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it, 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 it's an, it, it's an ad adventure uh, of some kind. Uh, not always, uh, you know, we have feelings in the body and the feelings, uh, I, I used. I'm. I'm saying that um, feelings are just feelings. Someone just feels better than other ones, but <laughs> but right. it's just feelings. It, you know, it's not something that should stop you from doing what you want to do. And uh, and when you work uh, with your mind, when you, you need to not only educate it on a conscious level, you know, not uh, with knowledge and um, experience, but also on a subconscious level, you know, uh, what 
personal profile do you want to have? What kind of person do you do you want to as a person to live uh, as the person you you used to be in the past? You know, we are changing all the time, and a change can uh, can 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 happen instantly if we allow it to uh, to happen. So we do not need to know necessarily how it will happen, but we need to allow it to happen. When we allow it, when we are open to change and that we accept that it's okay, then it, then it's possible. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. I've oh, got uh, <laughs> I've got the uh, landscaping guy with his big machine right ah, outside of my okay. window going. So you're probably hearing a little bit of background noise. And so I'm just trying to be quiet yeah. for just 30 seconds as he kind of completes this area of the house right. and hopefully moves on to another area. <laughs> I, I thought I'm, I might have had you hypnotized there. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Are you still with me? Chad? You did. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, hmm? yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, people think, you know, they, they have some fears about hypnosis. Sometimes uh, do you, will I wake up, you know, uh, can you make me, do stuff that I don't want to do, you know, uh, the usual questions. Uh, uh, but, you know, when if, if, every, if every person really discovered that the hypnotic state is a really simple state and, and everyone, everyone can enter that, it's, it's in between the, the sleeping and waking state. And, and, and actually, uh, you, you are able to change those security systems that you have inside you that are that are making you fail in different situations because you are a changed person when you are an adult and uh, you know more about the world then you should not go on with programs uh, or imprints uh, from your childhood that had everything to do with the circumstances that was back then Yep, absolutely. The circumstances change, the environments change, and right. even we as individuals, we change. Um, so we should not allow ourselves to be, um, you know, hindered by some of these past experiences. Jacob, this has been so helpful to me, um, really kind of understanding some of the things that I've been struggling with and some of the things that I can do to help myself overcome this. Do you have any final words of wisdom for our audience? And then please share the best way that we can connect with you and then we'll say goodbye. All right. Uh, the best way to connect uh, would be to go in and maybe download the Hello Mind app uh it's it's uh ready it's it's there in english uh and and you can um, download it from the app store we do not have the android version uh until uh about from 14 days from now but it will be there and you can uh, write us from directly from within the app if you want to do that okay a final saying would be a person can either entertain themselves or educate themselves you know so I would like to say that because in these uh, times we need to think about uh, how we spend our time and if and, and also as an entrepreneur, uh, think about when are you entertaining yourself and when are you educating yourself. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Deep yeah. thoughts, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on Hello Tech Pros today. I really value your, dude, I just really value the fact that you're helping people in this area because I can't tell you how many um, how many podcasts I've listened to of other entrepreneurs getting really, really stuck on fear and um, the fears that I have gotten stuck on in the past and some of my friends and family members who are trying to launch their own business or trying to get ahead in their career and, and they're holding themselves back and I see it like as an outside observer, yeah. I see a lot of people whose potential is like way up here in the clouds, but mm -hmm. their actual actions are down here on the earth because of the limiting beliefs and the fears that they have in their own lives. So I appreciate you working in this field and helping people, putting tools in place to help people overcome these fears, overcome these obstacles so they can uh, make the decision to kind of break out of the cycle of, of what's held them back in the past. And I appreciate you coming on the show to talk about it. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Chad. You bet. 
Tech Pros, if you are an entrepreneur, you're trying to start a business, but you've been stuck in one of these areas or another area that's related, right? So you can't decide on what problem, what solution, what niche that you're trying to work on. What you're doing there is you're really afraid to make a decision. You're afraid to make the decision on what to commit to because you're afraid of failure. If you're mm-hmm. afraid to sell, if you're afraid to pitch yourself, if you feel like you have this imposter syndrome, like you're not good enough to um, to really help people out in their in their situation, you again you have this f- a fear of failure. You have the fear of you're going to sell it to them and then they're going to hate it and it's not going to work and they're going to think you're a jerk and you're an idiot for stealing their money, right? Or if you're just Otherwise, just this, this feel, fear of failure can absolutely overwhelm you and hold you back from getting the things that you want or getting the things that you deserve in your life. And you have to address it. Now, I'm not saying that I have the answer, but you have to look for things to address this problem. Because once you can get over that problem, once you can get over the obstacle of the fear of failure, which can, uh, can manifest itself in many, many different areas, once you can get past that, dude, you can rock the free world. You can get so much done. And I want to see that happen in your life and in your business. You've been listening to Jacob Stracata and I'm Chad Bostic. And until next time, take care. The show notes page for this episode can be found at hellotechpros.com slash 223. Do you use Slack for team communication? Join the Hello Tech Pros Slack channel at hellotechpros.com slash Slack. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a review, subscribe to this channel, and check back tomorrow. This has been Entrepreneurship Saturday, but tomorrow my featured guest and I will not be talking about work because it's Sunday being unplugged. On Monday, we'll get motivated once again to face the week with Motivation Monday, followed by Tuesday, Productivity, Wednesday, Leadership, Thursday, Technology, Friday, People, Communication, and Saturday, back to our entrepreneurship. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.